Hi everyone, um, welcome to Paint With Me. I'm just going to set myself up. I'm a few minutes early, especially so that I can see my video while I'm with you guys. And I'm, I'm sure set that um, up. I'm a few minutes early, especially. Uh, take that off, and that way when we start, I can see where we're at. Okay, so um, welcome to uh, Paint With Me. On this site, you will always see just my stuff, my painting, my pictures. Um, you will never see any ads. Um, I do not tolerate ads. And um, you'll see that um, the comments are done during the video from what I've seen. Um, so um, you might put a comment on and I might not see your comment because I'm filming overhead on my table and uh, I just don't know how to set my tablet to see your comments. So um, leave a comment. If there's something you don't understand, I will, after the video, I will get back to you. And uh, if you've been on my page this morning, you'll see that I've put photos on. I'll take this off, I don't need that. Um, I've put photos on, in there, the photo of the chickadee, the, the photo of the painting I've done. And that is for you to download as a reference. Download it to your cell phone, your tablet, your, your whatever that you're using. Because um, when you put the video on pause, I think you see the, the, that line where it shows that it's on pause. So you can't completely see the, the, the photo. So... Um, use it as a reference and I'm gonna put all of the paintings I've done that I still have some I've painted over the ones from last year I've painted it over so those won't be available but all the new ones from this year will be available uh, from the period I started in December so you'll see them all um, I will also put some that are on my YouTube channel um, so that way if you go on the YouTube channel and you want to paint it at least you'll have uh, a picture of the painting also um, so that's it so and also share the video because it's it's um, it's free I'm I would do this because I love painting and um, share it so that people can learn how to paint it's it's very easy to paint so I'm gonna I show you what I've learned through the years the tips and tricks and the, and I use the same paints as you guys use um, if you're lucky enough to have artist paint, well, that's even better for you because you're going to need less coats uh, as we paint. So I'm going to flip you over onto the table and we will start. I'm going to readjust this so that I'm properly aligned. And I will zoom in, guys, as I need to uh, zoom in. Uh, for you guys to, uh, I think I'm a little bit crooked. I don't like to be crooked because then it looks crooked to you too. Okay, so um, I'm just going to close. I got a new um, ring light. I have a ring light now that I don't need as much uh, light from the background. So so what, what uh, we did on Tuesday is we... So I'm, I'm uh, inspired to um, show you how to paint from a photo. Um, so it, it can also be from what you look out your window. If, you know, uh, for me, it's better from a, a, a photo since, you know, we're, we're here. So we went, uh, on Tuesday, we went from the photo to the sketching. And today... We're gonna go to the painting. So this is all the process that I do uh, when we paint. And you're gonna see that um, I'm using last week's, last week's uh, painting because I always use the same canvas. And I thought I'd show you guys how I cover um, a canvas. Um, so we will start, uh, I will show you the colors because it's, it's very handy for people to see the colors. 
So I have light avocado for the background. I have um, mossy meadow. And I have real brown. And I'll flip them so you can see the colors. Okay? So that is our background color. Uh, and I'll show you the rest so that way you can get prepared if you want. Um, I have maple sugar tan. That one you can see really good. And terracotta, I haven't used it in this painting because I use dark flesh. It's a different color than this. So if you have dark flesh, use that. You can also use um, burnt sienna instead of, of the terracotta, the dark flesh. Actually, guys, you can use any color you want. There's no uh, set thing. Your painting doesn't have to look my, like mine. This is dark brown. That is one that I use often. But you guys, you do not have to have your background like mine. Uh, the, the driftwood piece of wood doesn't have to be like mine. I didn't even do it like the paint, like the photo. I did it like I wanted to do it. So, and what you're going to need today is, um, is one of these palette knives, whichever one you decide to work with. Um, our paint brushes, um, are these here. Um, so it's a number six flat, which, uh, which I'd say maybe is a three eight. Um, oh, this is a mini mop. I, I grabbed that and I don't need that. Uh, this is like a number two flat brush. So Oh, maybe a 1-8. And then I have another flat. It's an angle because I liked working with angles. And that one I would say maybe is a half inch. And then our little liner. And you're going to need a big brush for your canvas to do your background. So that, And then you're going to need a chalk. And the chalk, you'll see where we're going to need it. And also, um, you know these, uh, these uh, crayon chalk? pencils that you uh, you find that are for dressmaking, uh, you can take that actually uh, for the white pencil because we're going to need one to do the beak. I find that the chalk is too big when we do our sketch of, uh, of the bird. So we're going to start. I'm just going to step this aside. So don't be confused when you see. That's why I hid it so you guys wouldn't get confused. You're going to say, hey, why, why is that there? Well, so I'm going to re reveal it, I think, a little bit at a time. Um, I'm going to put a, a bit, I'm going to put my brush in water a bit. Have it filled with water. Then I'm going to squeeze out the water. And on my, uh, on my um, uh, paper towel, I will just take a little bit off keeping some in my brush. It's still like very wet. If it's too wet with the kind of paint that we're using, it's going to thin down our paint too much. So I'm loading and you're going to see I load very thick. So I load this, I load that, and I'm going to load some brown. I might need to do a white to hide this. White will just give me, and I think I'm okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just hiding what's under. And by doing a triple load like this, is I'm kind of creating a blurry background, um, showing that there's more in my background. And, I, and load as you need to. And you want to hide everything. You, you are going to have maybe a white canvas. So just make sure you, there's no white showing. And then I'm just going to go lightly on it. And you see what it's doing? It's it's making everything blurry. So it could be trees in the back that are there. I'm going to come down a little bit more. And I'm reloading again. Triple load. Using lots of paint. And I'm this time I'm just going to take the two colors. Because I find that I have a lot of brown already on. So in some areas there might be brown, some areas won't be brown. The trick is always go to the bottom, to the top and the bottom. I'm working on an 11 by 14 canvas, guys. I have this 
so that you know I'm going to be using a lot more paint than you. So I'm just grabbing a little brown. And when I, when I need to go at the bottom, I need to go back at the top. And I'm just, here I find it's getting muddy. That's what happens if you go too much over it. It's going to get muddy. So I'm going to hide that. And the, the, don't forget to do your edges. I'm not because I use the same canvas every week. Uh, we'll see if my new light is going to bother us or not with the glare. Okay, I'm triple loading again. And it's like that all the way. And it's okay if you have areas that are lighter. We don't want it all uh, like a mishmash of colors. I'm going to try to keep that straight. And for the ones who don't know, <laughs> I shake. So um, so sometimes my, my lines are a little bit crooked. Uh, but that's okay. Painting, what I'm showing you, is not about perfection. It's about you enjoying the process of painting. So I have to reload. Just gonna ha I just need to reload my light avocado. Oh, actually, yeah, I think it's a light avocado. So I'm gonna reload again. I'm almost finished here. And here I find that, okay, there's a little bit of that green. See, I didn't even have to use the white to hide um, what was under. The paint did very well. Just keep reloading as you need to. And when we work with the palette knife, we're gonna it's gonna be thick. We're gonna working be working with thick paint. But uh, it's um, I work with a palette knife often because it creates um, um, te uh, texture. Sorry, <laughs> my brain went dead. Okay, so I think I'm pretty good, and I'm barely, barely pressing where I'm, I'm coming back over. So that's it. So I'm going to put uh, my brush in the, in the water, so make sure you do that when you're done, because I don't have time to wash my brush. I'm going to dry. That's going to take the glare away by drying. I'm going to put it at high. Put your paint of tray away so that you don't dry your paint. And as you dry, this is gonna get lighter. It's always darker when it's wet. And it doesn't, it won't take very, very long to dry. We want it dry so that when we do uh, the piece of wood, that it doesn't lift the paint under. We always have to dry when we're doing a coat on top of a coat, unless we're waiting, we're working wet on wet, which I also do very often. Okay. And I'm checking what is... Okay, so I'm done. Okay, so now um, I will load my paint for the piece of wood. So I'm going to I'm going to load. I'm just going to move this a little bit so that you see everything that I load. Uh, I'm going to need more paint than you because uh, I have a bigger canvas unless you're also working on a bigger canvas. And I'm going to so that was dark brown. I'm reloading the real brown, the darker brown. You could use raw umber. If you don't have a dark brown, put a little bit of black in it. It's going to darken your brown. Uh, I'm going to load the maple sugar tan, which is kind of, it is a tan, and that's also the same that we use in the bird, in the chickadee. Uh, and I'm going to use... And always shake your bottles. I'm going to use the dark flesh. Uh, 
And then I'm gonna reload as I need so I don't spoil any paint. I'm gonna load some black. And it doesn't matter, I'm gonna put my black where my green is, really doesn't matter. Okay, so now you've seen my palette. I'm going to bring my canvas back over here. And you might see that I'm going to turn my canvas because it's going to be easier for me. Now, the only reason why um, I am doing a sketch of the piece of wood is because I want to see the tail. I want to make sure I see the tail. And this, I, I, I had to correct this because I, I didn't want to see the tail. And if you guys don't want to see a tail, just keep going straight. Here, just make it more uh, uh, looking old like that, like broken, and just don't do this. So this is the photo. And, and I do want to see the tail. I want to show you how to do that. So I'm just going to come. And so I'm going to come over here, kind of over here. And, and I want to keep an angle where the bird is sitting on. And it doesn't have to be exactly like the photo. Uh, and here also we see his his nail here, his uh, sa griff um, under here. So if you want to do that, then don't make this too wide like I did here. I made it too wide so you don't see it. It doesn't matter, I mean, but if you do want to see it, just make this thinner. So... And you see a chalk, how fun it is, because I'll be... So my bird is kind of going to go here and here. So the tail, so I just got to make sure that I come in enough to see that tail. And it's just a guide. It doesn't mean I'm going to follow that. And it's just one piece. And there we go. So it's just giving me, making sure that I have this okay because I do want to show you the tail. Now we're going to go into our palette knives. Uh, I think I'm going to start with the wide one because I know a lot of people have it and uh, we I've used it often uh, in um, in my, my tutorials. So I'm going to kind of turn this around. And guys, if that light isn't working well, um, I can always um, switch it uh, put it off okay so okay so let me know if there's too much glare I kind of figured how to see your comments so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in and it's gonna be layer on top of layer and it's gonna come uh, this is kind of white but doesn't matter as long and you're gonna see so I'm gonna come and I'm just gonna I want it to not be perfect okay so I'm going to come and I'm going to bring this a bit closer. I'm going to zoom you in. Hmm. I find there's a lot of glare, guys. Hang on. I'm just going to reopen my lights. And I'm going to put this one off and see if I still get... Well, now... Uh, we still get the same glare. Okay. It's when paint is wet, that's what we do. That's what happens. Okay. So I'm just going to come here. And I think I, re I loaded on the wrong side of my palette. So I'm going to load on the other side. So this is what I have. And I'm just going to come in. And I, I do it jagged. So because so it does look like an old piece of wood. And I'm not going to take always the same paint. So I'm taking the, the dark brown, I'll take the light brown, and I can take, I can take, sorry you don't see. So I took the dark brown, that uh, medium brown, and the tan. Because I want texture, I want some areas that are highlighted, and you'll see soon I'll be working my way down, it's just thin and it you don't have to hide your white lines because it's chalk chalk is going to come off uh, very easily with just 
a little bit of water and it's gonna come off. So I'm reloading again. Not gonna take the same colors. I want different colors. Maybe a little bit of black. Just a tiny, tiny little bit of black. And it's not gonna be like my other painting because I can't even do what I, you know, uh, back my my same original painting. Okay, though I'm I'm really okay. Let's. Well, this one here is going to end up being a little bit more. Okay, if it does what it just did to me, you might not have enough paint. I'll be switching to the other shortly to the other uh, palette knife, and I'm I'm not pressing very hard. I, you can't even hear it on this and it's also my paint is very thin I find so I just took I just took the brown and a bit of the tan and I'm just gonna do that uh, all the way and I'm just barely touching just so that I can create texture and this piece of wood doesn't it like the edges, they don't have to be that, um, that even. Okay, so I'm going to switch, show you how the other one works. I'm going to wipe that. I'm going to show you what I actually did when I did that. Hmm. There's a lot of glare, a lot of glare. I got to, I got to fix that, guys. I don't like that. Maybe it's just me, but, um, whoa, sorry, <laughs> you don't see anything. I closed my light instead of opening it. Oh, sorry about that. I'm just trying to take away the glare because I really don't like it when there's a glare. Okay, I think that's better. I think that's better. Okay, so I'm going to reload with the dark. And this one is that little one here. That's what I, I used. And what I did is I kind of went like that. And I just pressed. And w this way I was able to create a lot more texture. And I'm, I go into the dark brown. And each time I load, I won't reload the same thing again and so I'm going to take the dark brown the medium brown and that's all I'm doing and I'm going to come I'm going to bring the canvas up so that you see and then it's creating a texture so when we come and do the highlights in certain areas, we're going to be able to. So I'm, I'm triple loading. So the, I'm, I'm loading the dark brown, the medium, and kind of a four loads. The more you mix on your palette knife, the more you pick up, not mix, pick up, because you don't want to mix. So I'm going to make sure that you guys see this properly. I'm going to keep moving as I go. So I, I take a variety of paints and you guys do the same thing. You don't have to do it in the same sequence as I did. Uh, it, it's, it's whatever you feel like doing. I'm just showing you um, a technique. And this here, I'm going to go to the edge. I, I try not to put too thick of an edge and I'm going to come up to here and like that in some areas see I go back and then we're going to add in some areas I'm going to take my dark brown again and now I'm just going to come to the edge here make sure you go over your edge here so that your piece of wood looks like it's, you know, it's going, it's longer than what actually uh, we're painting. So I'm reloading. And now I want, I kind of like that. I think I'm going to try um, with the um, burnt sienna, see what that's going to do. And I'm going back up. 
So I'm going to put some raw sienna, burnt sienna. It's not raw sienna. Uh, that one's not even opened. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to go into the terracotta. So, terracotta is a, uh, I'm going to show you the color. Look at the terracotta. I just had the little thing fall in there. Okay, so I'm going to come and I'm going to load and a bit in the terracotta and let's go look what that's going to be like. It's okay if you see just little glimpses here and there of the paint. It's still giving you a dimension, a, a highlight, a, especially now that we're coming into, and I put lots of paint, guys, lots, lots, of, lots of paint in just a small area. I find that's what gives us the texture. Like it's, it's unreal how thick this is. And we're going to dry it after. So I'm going to reload my dark brown. I'm out of dark brown. And then when it's dry, you guys are going to see it better. So I'm coming to the edge here, making sure that you guys see. And this here, um, what we're, we also want to do is create... Um, texture, uh, a dimension, a roundness kind of. You don't want it all flat. That's why we're, I'm, I'm using like so many different colors and, and that. It's it's to create um, different... The wood is not the same color all over the place and that's not how it actually is in real life either. You don't see... Uh, now I just picked up some dark brown and a bit of black just so that there I have, and it, I picked up some white because I'm so close to my white. So I'm just going to pick up a different brown. And that's okay because here it has a highlight on, on the wood. I want a highlight there, so that's kind of okay. So I'm going <laughs> to put my palette knife a little bit on the other side so that I can uh, kind of... Uh, not go into the white as much because actually I wanted this side and I'm going to go into my dark brown, my medium brown and the dark flesh and I'm just going to tone that black down a little bit because really what I wanted here is highlight. So I'm going to take back my dark brown, I'm going to go into um, the light brown Take away the white and to end the terracotta. And look at that. Look at what it just did. So play with your colors. Um, don't try to do it like I'm doing it. You won't be able to because I can't even do what I did to create the painting to start off with. When I paint, I'm into another zone. When I'm, I'm sitting at the table and painting, I just go someplace else and... Sometimes I, and I write as I go what I'm doing, but sometimes it's very, it's very hard to come back to it and say, okay, what did I do there? <laughs> so, um, create your branch like you want to create it. And I'm gonna, uh, I have to reload my dark brown to finish the edges and we're gonna dry and then we're gonna go highlight the branch. Uh, so see, because I'm working on the uh, 11 by 14, I have to load often. So I'm loading a lot in this. And I'll take a little bit of the yellow. Maybe not that much. So like that. And, and I'm just going to kind of tap over here. I'm just going to tap. So that I'm creating edges. And same thing here. So now I'm going to reload again because I don't want it. So I'm going into my dark brown. I'm going to go in my light brown. And I'm going to go into the terracotta. So I'm mixing my colors. I'm not doing a specific order. And since that kit went off the white line, well, that's okay. And this here, it can also be... Uh, 
you know, all jaggeded. So I'm going to load back in my dark brown, medium brown, and a bit of the, the uh, dark flesh. And I'm going to come, and I want to come down up to here and kind of, you know, your piece of wood will be very different than mine. And which is what we want. You know, don't don't try to copy what I've just done. So I'm putting a tad of white. I don't know if it's going to show you. And, and I'm just tapping. At this point, it's just, it's tapping. And I'm going to move up a little bit so that you can see. Taking the dark brown again with the, the lighter brown. And I'm going to pick up the terracotta. I like the terracotta and I'm just and I want to keep some of the terracotta over there and now I want to go create I'm just gonna to go to my edges like I told you to and now I'm gonna go into my black because I want to create this here like it, it's making it look even older so I'm just going to turn it a little bit, and it's still wet. This is the perfect time to go and do that. So I'm just going to take kind of a sliver of, of black, and I'm going to come here. And where there's that joint is where I'm going to bring this in. And it doesn't have to be straight. And I'm just going to kind of, you know, uh, work it into the wood, into the color. And then what I want to do, and I can even come and put some over here. I don't have much left. So I'm going to take another sliver. Like, if you can see, you can barely see that I have black on my, on my palette. So and I'm going to come here. In certain areas, I'm just going to come. It's a, we're aging that piece of wood. That's what we're doing. Okay, so now here... Uh, where what I want to do on over here is I'm going to take my dark brown and I'm going to take the tan. I'm going to get up for this. And I want to come and I just want to come and kind of put a highlight here so that it shows that the dark is under. It's like a crack. Okay, I'm going to reload again. I think I'm just only going to take the tan this time because there's so much on my on my uh, canvas that I don't really need to in here. And I'm also going to put some on this side here just to give it a dimension. And I'm going to kind of tone this down a little bit and tone down the black. And also over here, I'm going to tone down the black. And I'm kind of bringing the black a little bit here and there. So now I want to put a little bit of the tan, a little bit here and there, just barely, barely touching. If I can, it's kind of hard sometimes to barely touch. And it's... And if I play too much with it, I'm going to lose it. Okay? And I'm going to go on the tip. So what it's doing, it's blending it. So it's giving me that, that wood, different colors. Okay? So I'm going to come here. And I'm going to do that over here also. It looks pretty... Ooh, right? But wait, we're just going to... We're just going to blend it. I'm going to do it on this tip too so that and it's just the tan that I'm loading because the paint is wet I can go and add some dimension in my wood and I'm barely barely touching and I want some here too and I'm going to just kind of blend it in so okay so my edge is pretty dirty so what you would do at that time is I'm going to turn it around 
and I would come and make that that bigger or can I do that or take a wet paper towel I will try the wet paper towel see sometimes you got to be careful not to take your your background out so barely any water in your paper towel and I'm just going to come and see if I can do that. If I can do that, great. Here. Because it's still wet, I can go do that. Okay? And here we go. And then uh, once we've dried, and let's see what that looks like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come and put some highlights. I'm going I think I am going to have to move you guys over a little bit. Uh, move my water a little bit. Okay, I'm going to zoom out uh out a little bit. Okay. So I want to come and put some highlights here, just here and there. So I'm just going to take uh, my tan again and just kind of like that a, a sliver kind of thing and I'm just gonna come and I'm gonna come and very lightly come here and there and once it I don't see any anymore I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna reload that might be a bit much I'm gonna take some out I don't yeah just a little bit and even on here, it can have, we can give it dimension over here, over here that we can create saying that this piece is kind of in, in the back more. And I'm going to come into my tan again, and I'm just going to come and you can put as much detail as you want in your wood. Now I'm going to go, um, just in my terracotta. Just in the terracotta and I'm gonna add some terracotta also what it does it, it makes it, it's making your piece of wood look even older and it doesn't have to be perfect because the the, the wood the piece of wood is very old so I'm reloading my terracotta again and if you find, like I've put a lot here, so I'm just going to blend it in. And I can take back my original dark brown and just kind of go over it. You know, soften it up. So whatever area you've created that you don't really like, that's what you can do. And I'm just going to play with it and, you know, make it as you like it. Okay, and over here, there's like a crack that I have ended up with. There's a crack here. I want to highlight that a little bit. So I'm going to take just my um, my tan and a little bit of the, the, the flesh, the dark flesh. And I'm barely, barely, barely touching. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to dry. I'm, I'm satisfied with this. To me, it looks like, it looks like an old piece of wood. Um, so I'm going to dry it. And then we're going to come and put little highlights of white here and there just to make it pop even more. And this might take a couple of minutes to dry and you're gonna see then after that uh, of the highlight uh, the, the the log will be dry and you'll see less of a glare so I'm gonna put that over here and I'm gonna uh, zoom you out so that you can see and once I know that the paint is dry there won't be a glare anymore. And then we'll take all our white marks off. So that way it's not confusing and it, you know you you don't see those lines anymore. And also um, your hair blower, don't put it at high heat. 
you don't want to cook your uh, your paste so put it at medium heat and I see that some areas are uh, are drier than other areas it depends how thick you did it I went pretty thick so it's uh, going to take a little bit and you want it dry because when we uh, do the bird uh, I paint with my hand on my canvas so I want it to make sure that I don't spread the paint all over so just keep drying as you need Okay, that's pretty good. I know there's a little bit of high areas over here. That might not be. Oh, they're not bad at all. Okay. Wow, that didn't take long. So now, um, what you, um, what we're gonna do is I have a little bit of areas that are still a little bit wet on this side. I'm going to bring you in and we're going to go put the highlights here and there so that you can see. That looks pretty cool actually. So I'm going to take, um, I'm going to wipe off my, uh, my palette knife. I'm going to wipe it off. And I'm just going to take a bit of white. I won't go too crazy with my white because I don't want big, uh, big areas of white. So I'm just going to kind of, not too much, just a little bit. And I'm gonna sh I want to show you the other painting. Um, see where I've put the white? I've put white here and in there and at the point here. That's kind of where the, the light is hitting it. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm just going to come in and, well, that went in, that went on pretty thick. So what I'm going to do, I'm, what I, what you can do if that happens to you is, is to go very, very lightly, very, very lightly. I went too hard. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go correct that. So I'm going to take back my basic color. And I'm just going to come in and just kind of tone it down. See? Not very hard to tone it down. See, that's, that's just what needs to, what you can do to correct an over, overly uh, too much paint in one area. So I'm going to do the same over here. I didn't want it that dark. And now I'm gonna go do a bit of highlight over here. This time I'm not gonna load very much. And it's also to do it very, very lightly. Very, barely touching your canvas. And you can also do it this way here too. So I'm gonna put some areas, I'm gonna grab a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of white very very lightly and I'm just gonna come here and barely barely touching because I kind of want some over I'm gonna move so that you can see over here just a little bit and I'm gonna come I'm gonna I'm gonna take you uh, out a little bit no the other way and here I have nothing left I'm just gonna grab just there's barely barely any white on my canvas so I'm kind of bringing it here and there and that's it and to me what I see from my eyes sees this looks great and don't don't um, over play with it because you're gonna end up having your paint uh, spread it, maybe the, uh, all blended in, if you don't want it blended in. If you want it blended in, fine, but if you don't, um, don't over blend. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to bring back a little bit of the white. Just a little bit. Just kind of little lines here. And, and on this side too here. Kind of little lines. Okay. So that's my piece of wood. And I'm going to zoom you back out. So that is, I'm going to dry it again because now we're going to go into the little chickadee. And the paint that you're going to need with chickadee, well, it's black white and the trail town it's very simple so i'm gonna dry take my paint tray away and i'm gonna dry have a drink of water while i'm drying and you're watching And once it's dry, that's where I'm going to take the chalk marks away. Just want to make sure that it's completely dry because my hand is always uh, on the canvas and I can really make a mess out of my canvas. <laughs> okay. So this is dry. So now I'm gonna we're gonna I'm gonna zoom you in. Um, I was gonna zoom you in on my on my uh, paint <laughs> on my painting. So I'm gonna move you. Oh, actually, what I want to do is I want to show you first how um, I'm gonna take the the chalk mark. So I still have my wet rag, the corner, and it's easy like that. And all over, I'm going to take it off. It might be under the paint. I might have to kind of, because I have ridges, because the paint is so thick. But look, that's how easy with a chalk that it is to take it off. And on that edge also. And on here, there's still more because it's under the paint. Because it's thick. And not too much water because you don't want to go down to lose your background. Because because we use like three colors of background, it might be harder to, you know, go and adjust the background. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom you in. Because now is the chickadee. Okay, I'm going to zoom you in as much as I can. Not too much because I, I saw the other day that when we did that, it the, the, the video was weird after. So, okay. So, we're going to take our chalk. We're going to do our bird. Okay. So, we're going to start off with the chalk. And I want my bird. So, you know, I want my tail kind of over here. And the tail is... It just seems like it's going straight okay so then I want my bird I gotta be careful um, actually I'm gonna change that a little bit I'm gonna change that a little bit see how much fun it is I can erase if I want there's no stress here we're not gonna stress because you know the tail is in the wrong spot I'm just gonna redo the tail it might not be exactly at the same spot as where the bird was okay so that's my tail so I'm gonna put my bird here and about here so now like when we did the sketch the bird is all about shapes um, if you look at the bird it it's kind of uh, it's almost like an egg shape Okay, so if you do kind of an egg shape, then we can go and, and fiddle around with it and adjust it. Okay, so I'm going to come here and I'm just going to start kind of doing that and uh, decide how tall you want your bird. So I think my bird, because um, it's a little bit bigger than yours, it'll be like that. And I'm just going to do that egg shape. And coming down, and there I'm going to decide, well, did I do my bird big enough? Is it big enough? 
it could be a little bit bigger so I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger so I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna make it taller and I'm gonna go with that egg shape but well, kind of an egg shape <laughs> and I'm gonna take this off the inside so that you know when I when I do it um, I, I I know where I'm at so now this is just a basic sheet so now what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, per, not perfect it but okay did you guys not see this am I too far oh sorry guys I didn't see let me move over let the camera move over so that you can see the shape okay so now that's better sorry about that guys I, I moved my canvas. I decided to do the bird in a different spot. So now what I'm going to do is I want to make this a little bit rounder. So I'm just going to come in and do it a little bit rounder. So that it has a shape. And then uh, it kind of has, it kind of goes up here and it has like a shoulder. Okay, so. And then it comes in. After that, it kind of comes in in a little bit air here. And it goes up. We're not going to do the beak right away. We're going to do the beak after. So I might see. And here I am I can go and adjust. I'm going to take a, a brush and wet it. And I think it's going to be easier for me to erase my lines. So I'm going to erase the back here. Okay. And I'm going to erase that over here so that I can see where I'm at. Okay. I take that off. Take this off. It, it, I can see my shape now because I'm working with the chalk. Where did I put my chalk? <laughs> that is funny. Did I put my chalk on me? Okay, my chalk. Oh, duh. Okay, so now the little bird, um, if you look at his head, um, it has an angle here on top of the beak. It has an angle here on top of the beak. And look how um, it's like a um, semicircle, but it's kind of almost flat going into going down so that's what we're gonna do okay so I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna make it flat and I'm gonna start curving in and it okay so now I'm gonna take my brush and then we're gonna do adjustments when we paint okay so that you can see that so I'm, I'm, we're, we're pretty, very close to, you know, what that bird should look like. Because doing this like that makes it so much simpler for us to do a bird. You know, we're, we're creating shapes. Okay, so now I'm going to do the beak. This is where I'm going to take my white pencil to do the beak. And I'm going to, the, the beak kind of goes, and the beak is not very long, guys. So a chickadee doesn't have a long beak. So I'm kind of, is it going to show? Oh, you might not see that. I'm going to take the chalk. I don't like taking the chalk for a small beak like that, but it might work out. So, and I'm going to come, and the beaks, bird beaks are very pointy. So that's kind of small. If you look at it, it's it's really small. So I'm going to I'm going to come and I'm going to increase. See, that's why with with um with uh, the chalk, we can come and adjust. Okay? Okay. So now what I want to do 
is adjust under the beak. So I'm going to take my, my brush, wet my brush, and I'm going to come, and this is, there's, this here should come in a little bit, like that. And the top line, and the beak, we, I can still work on the beak when we paint it. The top, the top of the beak is kind of behind this line, so make sure that it is. Okay? And if the top of the head is not tall enough, well, when I paint it, I will adjust it. Okay? And this here is kind of maybe not. So, actually, it's this that I need to take out. I need to take out his chest a little bit more. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now is the basic shapes are there. Um, and we're going we're gonna to start painting. So, we're going to take our black. And wherever there's white, it's going to be painted gray. Because the chicken, the, for... Uh, if you look at it, all the shadow in the belly area and all that, and even on his cheeks here, for something to pop out when it's white, you have to put a shadow. Uh, uh, so, And you cannot put white on top of white for your white to be more white. It has to, it needs a basic color under. So I'm going to start with the black and adjusting, and then we're going to do our gray. Actually, what I would like to do um, is kind of come and do um, this area here, just to make sure that I'm kind of where I want it to be. Uh, the beak comes in a little bit, and his cheek. Sorry, I told you I wasn't going to do that, and here I am. Because I want it, to, I'm trying to make it, be easier for you okay so that's black that's black we're gonna adjust the beak when we paint it and this here i just noticed that this here should kind of be maybe like that okay okay so i'm taking um I think we're going to take our gray first. So the gray, what you're going to do is just take the black, put it on the side here, take some white, and let's do a gray. I don't want a very, very dark gray. Okay, that's kind of okay. I'm just going to put a tad, 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 a tiny, tiny little bit of water in my paintbrush. And if I have to mix more, I will. There's actually, let's do more right away. Okay, so this area is white. So I'm going to, yeah, you don't see it very well because of our background. So I'm painting the gray. And I'm gonna you and I'm gonna come to the edge here. And this here, the black, if it's not long enough or I can adjust. Okay, so I'm gonna reload my brush. Reload as you need to. It depends on the paint you're using. You might have to reload more than I do. And then we're going to erase our white lines once this is all filled in. And we're, that's when we're going to see do we need to adjust our bird or not. And I'm going to make sure that I get over here. And I don't want to hide that the piece of wood here is all crooked because the bird is sitting, is sitting kind of on top. So you will see a bit of, of, uh, of the, um, the wood. 
okay so I kind of going like that and I think I'm gonna bring this up a little bit it's okay once we do the black that we need to adjust our white that is perfectly okay so now I'm gonna come into just my I'm not washing my brush I'm working with a dirty brush and I'm gonna start working with my black so I'm gonna adjust this a little bit be careful not to have your hand in so I'm gonna come and I might not follow my my line completely because I want I want to do the chickadee head going down and then I will see if if my head is too little or you know if I need to increase it or not and if you practice um, sketching that will simplify it so much because once we come to the canvas you've already done the chickadee you've already practiced the sketching I'm not gonna do his beak right away I'm just going to come here and see if this is maybe not so much of a curve and it's going down a little bit like that. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to tap it in. As you see, I did a little curve here because that's his chest. He's kind of um, has a little curve uh the way he's uh, he's sitting so this is kind more he's um maybe forward if i if that's the right um saying for this so i'm tapping it in and then uh we're gonna go create we're gonna put the white on top of the black and all that so it's gonna create a dimension it's gonna make our bird look more real Okay, starting to look like a chickadee. <laughs> so I, um, I'm going to do the beak. I'm going to go do the beak. The beak, uh, I'm going to go do it little by little. That's kind of something that, and just a little, little curve on top. I'm not going to make it as long as I had. I'm going to see if that is okay or not. And it's pointing on uh, my hand. Okay, I'm going to wipe my hand because it's in my black. And I'm going to take my, I'm still with my little flat brush. And I'm just going to try to make a point here. I could do that with a, uh, oh, here, I got it. And it's kind of coming down like that. Okay, so I am going to dry because then we're gonna we're gonna do. Oh, here, let's do the tra the tail. Okay, so the tail. I'm gonna move you up so that everybody sees the tail. And the painting, guys, looks like a lot of um, like I have a lot of paint from what I see on on uh, on the video. But it's actually not like that. Okay, so the tail. The tail, I want to do a mix of dark gray. Uh, yeah, so we're going to take dark dark gray. And I'm, I'm going to just kind of double load. And, and you want the, the outer edge of the tail here. Is darkest because it th we're gonna do like a feather on top and it's gonna bring the tail down I'm not gonna go as wide as I had so it's behind the wood so don't go on top of your wood the rest of the tail is hiding with the wood so I'm just gonna even this out a little bit better and the, the there's kind of a highlight um, here, so that's why I don't. I'm not gonna make this very dark. I have lots of gray, 
and I want my okay so now I will dry and take my white lines off and see if I need to adjust my bird so then I take my paint tray away and I'm gonna dry See, it doesn't take very long to dry. So let's take off our lines everywhere. I'm gonna do the tail since that's where we're at. We're at down at the tail. And I'm gonna bring you down. And I'm gonna make sure I have a that I, I have my wet rag just um, a corner of the wet rag and I'm gonna take oh, it's not wet enough just a tiny little bit wet not very much okay so just a little bit wet I'm gonna go very gently and see do I need to adjust my bird more or not What I'm gonna do, okay, I keep moving you guys and I shouldn't move you. So I'm gonna take my little, uh, my little flat brush that we have and we're gonna go into, um, I wanna kind of, I think it's me who did that with my hand. Okay. So I'm just gonna move you a little bit over right here. So I'm gonna start um, putting the white. And I actually think that my chickadee, I'm out of paint here. Um, okay, uh, clean, I cleaned my brush. I'm gonna start putting in the white. The white is just that white, and I, I, I don't wanna go white right away. So we're gonna kinda go into our little gray mix here with more white, so that we have uh, a dimension in the feathers, okay? Cause I find my shape is, is, I like the shape. And I'm just gonna come in. And actually what I wanna do is I'm gonna start, that's not where to start. We have to start into, uh, yeah, I can start here. I can. Sorry, guys. I'm going to start here. And I don't have enough loaded because you cannot even see that. So that's because I have too much water in my brush. And so I'm just kind of, I'm going to be creating kind of um, layers, okay? A layer and another layer and, and I want to keep the gray under, okay? And we're going to be creating little hairs after which will make our chickadee look even more realistic. And if, if, if some areas we say, oh my God, it's, um, we don't have, um, like this is too big. Well, we'll just add our black, that's all. And I'm gonna come in a little bit here for his beak. And I'm coming down a little bit more. I'm adjusting, that's all it is. We're just adjusting as we go. And I'm adjusting, as you see. What I want to do before I go on, on the body is we're going to go put our trail town. We have lots from our wood. I have lots from my wood. So I'm going to take the trail town and just trail town. And I'm going to come and we're going to tone this tail trend down. So if it looks like it's a lot, that's okay because it, it might be look like a lot. And we're going to come and put some white on top of it. 
I have lots of water in my paintbrush. That's why it's it's kind of doing that, which is actually not bad at all. And I'm going to come down, and there's not ten all over. And I'm coming on this side. And it's like on the other edge of him, of the chickadee, that there's there's trail tan. And I want to come under the belly here. And here I want to come, the way he's sitting, where we want to make sure that his belly looks rounded. Okay? And that's how we're doing it. I'm going to put a little bit more trail tan so that I see it a little bit more. It's okay if you put it dark because it's gonna, uh, we're gonna uh, tone it down. We're gonna go, go put kind of like a feathers in there to tone it down. And I'm gonna bring it in a little bit. And it's choppy, it's okay if it's choppy. I'm, we're not looking to make this full, um, completely, uh, if you by leaving it choppy, what it's doing, it's uh, we're seeing the shadow under, so it, it's less work for us. If you leave some of the gray, I might end up hiding it and then coming back and putting it back on. That's okay. When you paint the something, that's what happens. I'm always trying to paint as real as realistic as I can. Show you in this this uh in like the two hours usually that i'm on or something so um yeah okay so it okay so the here there's white here okay so let's go see what that looks like i'm gonna wash my brush and i'm gonna come back into my grayish white this here, um, I might dry that a little bit because it's kind of wet, just a tad. Okay, and also the uh, one re way you can know if it's uh, uh, wet is it's going to be cold. So if it's cold, it's still wet. Okay, so now I'm going to come in, and actually, I think I'm going to change brush. I'm going to take the other, the 3-8 uh, flat brush, the 3-8 flat brush, I'm, that's the brush that I'm going to switch at because my bird's a little bit bigger and I don't want to make uh, strokes after strokes. I, I want to kind of not do that. So I'm mixing a lighter gray than the body because I don't want to put white right away on it I'm not sure maybe I, I took too much out so I'm going in there sorry I'm going in there and I'm loading and I'm gonna start the little feathers here the little feathers here they kind of go out a little bit which we're gonna do and it's it's going in in kind of a circle here It's going like that, and it's up to right, and it, it's getting smaller here, and it's coming up to here, okay? So that's where you see where he's turning more on the left side than he is on the right side. And then I'm going to start just to put the feathers in, like the belly. And there's no specific way. I'm going back into that. And I'm not trying, I don't want to really create feathers and I just want to create highlights and shadow and, and maybe not put it all at the same place, uh, in, in the same spot. You see what I'm doing is I'm just, and I'm coming in and hiding some of the of the tan and I'm just coming in 
And here, it's a little bit darker, so I'm, I'm going to come in. And I'm still coming in. And then we're, when we put the highlight, it's all going to come together. And when I, when I do the stroke here, I'm trying to go in between that one and that one. Okay, so I'm, and same thing here again. And here I'm just going to kind of tap. Okay. I'm going to tap here again. I like tapping. I've, I've done a painting yet last night and, oh, it was like tapping all the way and made it so easy. So now I'm going to come in and I'm going to start putting a little bit more white in our mix. Sorry, a little bit more white here into the mix. Not completely going white because I want layers. If we go completely white, we're not going to have any layers, so I'm going to do layers. And I'm just kind of tapping, coming down, and I'm, I'm starting under the black. Not completely hiding the black because the, um, let's see. So the black is kind of on top of the white. In some areas, there's a little white hair, so that's what we want to create. Okay, so I'm going to just come and tap, and we're creating a dimension. So just tap, and here also. I'm going to come, and when you do this, what we want to do is uh, we want to create layers. So um, this layer is under that one, and that one's under that one, and it's under, under, okay? So that's why I'm starting here. And I'm just tapping, tapping here and there. So time to reload again. Same thing, I'm just reloading into what was there. Maybe add a little bit of white, because I don't have much on my palette. And I'm going to tap here. And I'm tapping. And I'm not losing all the gray that is under. Because I want I want to create a, uh, a dimension. And I'm coming here. And I, I'm going to kind of go a little bit over of what I just did. But very lightly. Okay. And I'm coming here also doing the same thing here. And there will be little hairs that we're going to add. And I'm coming in. You'll see I, I turn my brush off and it's because it has more paint on the, as I turn, you know, I use the paint on one side, then I come in. Okay, now we've started. Now what I find is I need a little bit of black here. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna add some of the black. So, but before I do that, since I still have paint in my brush, I'm going to come and start adding more white here. And it's just tapping here and there, not losing completely our, our tan and our, our, our areas that um, are the gray areas. And I'm not really kind of going where I was before. Not in the same spot. So I'm reloading. I'm going to show you what I mean. I don't want these all, all these strokes to kind of show with that dark gray under. So I'm just going to come and I'm going to come in. And I'm going to just kind of... you you. What I'm trying to do is just... We know the hair is going that way. Like I may be too specific, guys, but... That's how I paint. I like to, I'm trying to um, not do things less complicated, okay? See what I'm doing? Is I'm, I'm just going in a scoop. Time for me to reload. And at the bottom here, 
it won't be as white. So I'm reloading into that grayish area again. Okay, that, I think, I'm not sure if you guys are seeing, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Zoom out a little bit. Just a tiny little bit so that you see better. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to keep coming. And I want to soften the gray without hiding it. I just want to soften it. And the, the light hits certain areas more than others, okay? And I'm just tapping here and there. And I, I want to hide, like this here, it, it, it looks like there's something in the middle of the belly, and, and I want to hide that. So I'm just going to come in and do little swoops. And just hide it. See, I'm, and I'm adding white here and there just to give me like a highlight. And then we're not gonna we're gonna come like it's 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 not too too. It's like it's not complicated if we don't make it complicated. Okay, so now I'm going to come, and I'm going to start with more white, okay? So I'm going to start working with, with the white even more. And I'm just kind of little strokes here, and I'm going to work. And I'm just, just doing little short strokes here now I'm gonna come here and put some highlights here now I'm also just gonna give little strokes just I'm just tapping them in okay now what I'm going to do is, is I want to adjust the black here. This is what's fun about this is, is I can adjust whenever I want to. It, there's, there's no specific thing. So I'm going to take my little, my little liner to go and adjust the black. This here keeps going into the white. And as it goes, it gets, you see less. So I'm just going to tap that in like that. That made a big difference. Not to me, anyways. <laughs> and um, here I'm going to add some little hairs. The one thing, you guys, to, to have a bird look realistic is to add little hairs um, here and there. But first, what I want to do is come here and add his wing. He's got a wing that comes out. Okay. And on the other side also, there's... Oh, I just lost the tip of my brush. My brushes are really old. And it's not the time to go buy brushes right now. I want to do that in person so that my brushes are going to have to wait. I'm just going to try to tighten this up and see if I can use it. So right under here, there's another little wing. And it kind of comes out a little bit and it comes in. So it doesn't have to be anything more than this. Okay? So there's that little wing. I'm going to wash my brush. I did the black. Um, I want to come and add some highlight. I'm going to keep this little brush. And I'm going to go into my pure white. And I just want to come and add little brushes, little brush strokes here. Not everywhere. Just where um, 
where there's more it's more apparent and we're gonna we're gonna come and add a little bit more a little bit more and I'm adding if you see it's here and there and I'm coming back into into the neck here neck chest area and I'm gonna add little hairs And then we're going to come in and we're going to reestablish some of the tan. Just just a little bit of the tan. And I reestablish that. So the light is hitting more on this side here. And I'm going to come and start playing in here. I think I'm going to start here so that my hand is not in there. So I'm going to come and I'm going to come and add little hairs. And I keep loading, keep loading as you need it. And it has little hairs and, and shortly we're going to come in and put the highlight in his, uh, his eye so that we see that there's an eye and I'm just putting some uh, some white not really following the sequence that I was before uh, because I'm going to keep some shadows in there so that's kind okay and then we go into um, this is kind of um, there's more here more white here because I want to we want to try to make a dimension, you know, give the bird dimension. And here, there's a lot of little hairs here. And, the, and when we put these little hairs, that's what makes it look more realistic. You see how that how that looks like how much more realistic our bird looks and here I'm just gonna come I don't want to lose all of that black but I want to add a little bit of the hairs and here I'm just gonna come and, and just go crazy here and just you know put the white here and there and okay so I'm gonna wash this because I want to come back here re re and put a little bit of tan but um, I'm going to put some a bit of water in my brush because I want to re-establish a little bit of the tan but I don't want it too too dark I want it um, light just like that so it kind we, we kind of get that it's the chickadee you know and I'm tapping here and there because I don't want to lose all of that weight that we've put on and it's gonna come to nothing I'm gonna do the same on the other side not loading too much if you have too much in your brush take some out of with your uh, on your rag and I'm just gonna come in And I'm going, I'm following kind of like the circle. Okay. And I want it maybe darker, kind of over here. Darker over here, a little bit darker there. Okay, not too, too much because his belly is gray, the way he's sitting. Okay, now that that's looking like a chickadee more. Now I want to come and work in the middle area. I'm still with my flat. I'm going to reload some white, but I don't want to go pure, pure white yet. So I'm just going to come into my gray mix, which is almost dry, so there's not much gray and a little bit more white like the chickadee is almost done it doesn't take much 
and I'm gonna come come in come in come in like that like this and like that and a little bit not go not lose all of our uh, all of our uh, our tan that we just put back on but I, I don't want to see where the tan starts and where it finishes so that's why I'm gonna kind of come in see we don't we don't see now I'm just gonna take some white pure white on my dirty brush okay I'm gonna come in and just add here and there. I don't want to overdo it. It's easy to overdo it. Okay. I'm going to come here a little bit and just add a little bit of a, of, actually it's better tapping. And a little bit here Just a little bit here. And some over here. And just a little, little, little bit there. If you lose it, guys, if you've put too much, just put back some shadow, just put back some gray. See, I'm just going to tap, 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 tap. Tap here. And I don't like that I'm seeing the middle too much. And your bird's going to be different than mine because we don't paint the same. So I would say that my bird is pretty much done. We're going to go do the tail. Here, I just want to come in here and kind of tone the darker gray that's under there. Tone that down a little bit. Okay, let's go put, let's go put a highlight on the eye so that we know where the eye is. So I'm going to take a little bit of the white. There's also, um, his eye is kind of over here. Oh, you're not going to see that. I'm going to water down. So I'll water down a little bit of water. Because we're going to kind of go do around an eye, his eye. Well, actually, there's there's still highlights to do. And over here, kind of go do the eye here. You don't have to do the whole eye. And do a little... We just want to um, show that there's, that there's an eye. Now, I'm watering it down again. Very, very lightly. And I'm going to come at his beak. And I'm going to come and try to do a line that goes right in the middle of the beak. Coming in. Just like that. And now we're going to go do the shadow on the head. And then we're going to do, the, we're going to finish the tail. So the shadow on the head is with your little uh, one eight brush that we've been using this this brush here and it's gray so we're going to make a, a, we're going to take the some of the black so I'm going to take some of the black and mix it with the gray and I want to keep it you know I don't want um a shadow a light a highlight here that is like white you're going to see it way way too much and I'm going to come down like that and I'm creating, I'm coming down over here. See how I'm going kind of in, in a circle in like that. I'm also going to do it under his, his uh, throat here. Like right here. Because that's where the light is hitting him. And I'm also, we're also actually going to do some hairs coming out here to make it look like more realistic so 
I'm making it maybe a little darker so that you guys can see. But if you find it too dark, like too much, take your black and just come back in and just work it in. and Because it's black, it's so easy to just come in. And even here, you can adjust that a little bit. Okay. And even this, I find, is a little bit much. Might not be as far back like that. Okay, a little highlight on the beak, just the top here. Actually, his beak. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to go do um, some highlights. Uh, not some highlights, I mean some, some little hairs here. So I'm going to take my black, load my brush. Sometimes it's go it goes easier, guys, if you put water in. And there's little hairs under his beak. Little hairs here. And there's little hairs here also. Oh, need a little bit of water. So kind of do um, a little bit like ink consistency. It's going to go much, much better to get little hairs. And I'm going to come here and do little hairs, you know. Just, well, it's not inconsistency enough. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back here and make it more ink consistency. So, ah, uh, yeah, that's much, much better. And do some hairs here. Not long, 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 but a few little hairs. Just making him look realistic we can even put a little bit on top of his head not very much and when you do the hairs you follow the body okay now we're gonna go finish the tail the tail has the tail the tail my tail is very long actually because my my hole is so long uh, yeah, my hole is so big, so that could be trimmed down. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take some of the white and a tad, kind of, I am kind of want to create a grayish color to start off with. And I'm going to come and I'm going to create the outside edge of his tail, showing that there's there's feathers there. And I'm trying to make it the same. Like that. Wow, his tail is long. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to add some wood here. That's way too long. <laughs> so, and actually what I could do is maybe put his tail a little wider here. What I could do is shorten his tail and but the easiest fix is just to take make my the the um, my log and just make it taller higher. Okay, so that's the tail. Like I, I told you, I shake. So then I'm going to come in, take some white, and just add like a highlight here. And a highlight there too. And it's okay if it goes into the black. I we can fix that. Or I can just take my liner that's been washed, just washed. Sometimes it doesn't do what you want it to do. <laughs> so I'm just going to come in like that. Oh, you guys see that? Hmm. Let me move you. I get so much in my zone sometimes that uh, I have to get out of it. I kind of lose where I'm at. Okay, so here we go. And I want to put kind of a highlight here. So I'm just working. So 
So by fixing it, I went and added a dimension to my tail. So it doesn't look so uh, perfect. It, it's, it's giving me like the tail is kind of turning in. Okay, I want to fix, I want to fix that. So I'm going to come in, maybe too much black here. This light, and so look what I'm going to do. I find my tail is like way, way too big for the bird. And even there, I think it's even here. Much better. And look at that. Okay, so see, I fixed, I fixed it. The tail doesn't no longer looks, um, looks too long. So um, that's oh, let's do. A, I don't know what, what my hurry is today. Let's do the feet, won't we? <laughs> so I'm gonna bring you a little bit down, and we're gonna go do. Uh, the feet. So the feet, there's one that's right here. Oh, I'm going to have to be careful not to put my hand in the face. And it's, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do it thicker so that you can see. Like there's a feet that comes here and it's not very big. And there's another one that comes here. Like it's almost like three fingers right away. I'm going to come with my white. And I'm going to come and highlight very, very little. It's going to be gray, which is great. That's what we want. Okay. And it has, and I'm going to go back into my black. And right here, you kind of see a little bit of the nail. I'm going to, see, I knew it. Me and my hand is always, I'm going to just zoom a tiny, tiny little bit so that you can see uh, the claws. I call them nails. I, sometimes I, I'm not quite sure how to call them. Uh, you will have the photo to guide you also. Here's one, one nail and another one. And they're not very big. Like it's a chickadee, so... It's and there's this one and I am not able to put the other one here because my branch is a little bit bigger so I'm not gonna bother well I like I say it's not gonna look okay if I do put it and look I'm just tapping in the white while it's wet so it's gonna do it's gonna make kind of a gray okay okay so what I want to do is load some white and just add a little bit. Okay, you see the tail. Just a little bit of white. Not very much. Just a little bit. Go back in my brown here. So that it matches everywhere. Okay. Well, guys, I think that is it. Um, it uh, looks pretty cool. I hope you enjoy it. And you can download the photograph. Like I said, I'm going to zoom you out. Uh, zoom you out so that you see the complete picture, the complete painting. And also, guys, don't forget to sign your painting. It's very important to sign your painting. And um, I will see you. Uh, oh, I want to show you our next painting. I want to show you my next painting on the next Friday. Where did it go? Is it hiding? Is it hiding in plain sight? I kind of do that sometimes. 
Huh. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to be shown. I've got that one. That's not the one I'm doing. Oh. Look, guys. This is next week's project. Next week's painting. So on Monday, I will be doing the uh, sketching. And it will be uh, Monday at 1 o'clock. And I will put it on my site. And... Um, you guys can follow me and we're going to do, uh, we're going to learn how to sketch the cardinal. So, um, and I will also put the paint uh, on and I will show them on Monday after the video before I close. I will show you the paint so that you know, you can see the colors and don't feel like you have to go buy paint, guys. Use what you have. It's always about that. Your background doesn't need to be like my cardinal is red, so use the reds that you have. And uh, it, it's it's like I use the color, the reds that I had. And so, and I sh I'll show you how to mix some colors and to get to the dark and to the light. And um, that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed and have a beautiful end of day and a great weekend. So bye, guys.